Well, hello and welcome to Ask the Doctor. My name is Jerry McGee and I'll be the host for today's show. We're here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at Wellness Associates with Dr. Eugene Goldberg. Dr. Goldberg, thank you very much for your time. On today's episode, we want to talk about a problem called trigeminal neuralgia. Now, maybe a lot of people haven't uh, heard of that or understand what it is, or they might be dealing with it and really not even know they have it. So could you tell us a little bit about basically what is it and you know, what are the, what they should look for? I understand, Jerry, it's one of the most painful conditions known to medical science, okay? It's pain in the face, okay? Usually, in my understanding, it involves the fifth cranial nerve, which is the trigeminal nerve. It's the middle branch which goes into the face. Nine times out of ten, Jerry, it's coming from the muscles in the neck on that side. Usually, it's unilateral. It's just the one side. So if it's on your right side, it's coming from the SCM muscle on that side, which is the muscle there. And also, it's coming from vertebrae. They're out of alignment, that the vertebrae is out of position, which is hard bone out of position, pressing on soft nerve, now that can cause pain, okay? It can cause pins and needles, numbness, burning, okay? So what we do is, instead of giving an injection or, God forbid, surgery where they cut the nerve permanently, we get to the underlying root cause, which is the pinched nerve, and relieve the pinched nerve by giving what is called a specific chiropractic adjustment. And by taking pressure off that nerve, we also can do muscle work, physical therapy, trigger point therapy, usually it involves the SCM muscle, which when you turn your head, that's that muscle right there, okay? So nine times out of 10, if you do a conservative approach and you get to the underlying root cause of the problem, I've had patients that respond beautifully to that. So if we have somebody watching this thing, you just brought up something that kind of scares me. Uh, you know, when you're talking about just severing that nerve and yes, being done with that's that. that's what they do. Uh, if, if anybody is watching this video right now and is even scheduled for that, you know, one of the things that, that, that I stress to everybody is that, one, you want to take every opportunity to look at any form of treatment prior to something like that. See, I don't think people talk about a second opinion. So we do differently. I do second opinions all the time for people. What we do differently is we give them a second opinion, but it's a conservative second opinion. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be injections of cortisone. It's not going to be surgery. So if you do the conservative approach and that helps you, then God bless you. You don't need the surgery. Now, if we do the conservative approach and you exhaust all your conservative options and you're not better, then God bless you. Have the surgery. At least you know you've exhausted all your options. Yeah. Yeah, I think too many times that those kind of drastic procedures are done way too early. I would agree. You know, before everything else has been exhausted. And, and so if you're dealing with that right now, definitely you want to pick up the phone and come down to Wellness Associates and just kind of get an evaluation, get, talk to Dr. Goldberg. Uh, for all new patients, he offers a free evaluation, so it's a win-win and you can really get to the root cause of this. Now, one of the things in my research, Doc, that I, that I yeah. came across was, you know, you got this whole problem of TMJ yes. and how it could relate into that it whole can, problem. What can, can you tell us about See, that? See, it relates back to the theory. It isn't one cause, one cure. It's many causes, many cures. Like, for instance, Jerry, in your brain, there's 500 nerves that come down from your brain that go to TMJ. The TMJ is actually Grand Central Station for your face. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, if the TMJ is out of alignment, that's pressing on those 500 nerves, yeah, you're going to have pain, pins and needles, numbness, or burning. So what we do differently, Jerry, instead of doing surgery or cutting the nerve, we would actually adjust the TMJ. Why? We can adjust any joint in your body just about, Jerry. Mm -hmm. And the TMJ, which is your temporal mandibular joint, that can be adjusted, mm -hmm. okay? Also, we can do acupuncture points, okay, in the face and the eyes. There's certain acupuncture points that work with the meridian, which is the energy flow if it's blocked. Mm -hmm. Number two, we help the circulation. Number three, we help the nerve. So it relates back to that theory. It isn't just one cause, one cure. It's many causes, many cures. And we look at all the options and we exhaust all the possibilities. Mm -hmm. and, and I think the, the, the interesting thing about all of the, you know, when you look at chiropractic care, you always get back to talking about the cause. Yes. And in my opinion, unfortunately out there in, in the medical profession, it, they're only concerned really about curing the symptoms. Yes, they treat the There's symptoms. very little done on getting to the root cause of a problem. That's correct. You know, and it's always, you know, so there is, you know, with, with you know, severing that nerve, which to me would be a crazy thing to do, right, uh, you know, to start with. But, uh, you know, they're looking at just taking, severing that and relieving those symptoms versus saying, what's the cause of that irritation? Maybe it's based on the premise that in medicine, when in doubt, they cut it out, whether mm -hmm. it's an organ or a nerve. It's like, to me, it's like, that's a radical thing. Why do you have the pain? Is it a right. pinched nerve? Evidently, they don't treat pinched nerves. Why? Because they don't adjust your spine. They don't adjust your nerves. Mm -hmm. They don't work with physical therapy unless they refer you out. Mm -hmm. So I would do physical therapy, chiropractic, acupuncture, exhaust all those possibilities. Again, it relates back to the three weeks of care if you're 40% better. Mm -hmm. Use that as a rule of thumb, Jared. Yeah. If you're 40% better after three weeks of care, then we're helping you. Mm -hmm. If we can't, 
then God bless you, have the surgery. Yeah. And I think this whole, what, what you just brought up there, this whole concept of, of teamwork looking at yes. a problem versus just one specific you know, individual. I, yeah. And that's what I always enjoy when we do these talks and we, we learn about these different uh, problems that are out there is you, you all the time talk about the concept of if everybody could just work together, the end result and the relief for the patient could be tremendous. You if, said the key you know. word is for the patient. Everything's mm -hmm. for the patient. So there was one building and you had a dentist, a chiropractor, a massage therapist, an MD, an osteopath, a naturopath, a homeopath, Ayurvedic medicine, Chinese medicine. That's nine doctors right there. Mm -hmm. Don't you think you would be in better hands and better care if you were going to nine doctors mm -hmm. versus one doctor? Yeah. And that's my opinion. I think, you know, it's a teamwork approach. Right. Nine heads are better than one head. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, so you know, as, as you're watching this, maybe you're dealing with this problem right now, or maybe you've got pain and discomfort area, you're not sure what it is yet. Maybe you haven't got a diagnosis of that yet. Uh, now's the time to pick up the phone and give Dr. Goldberg a call and, and come down to Wellness Associates, meet the staff. See, they, they, you know, the, the, the atmosphere, what I like here is one, it's a very uh, kind of a, a bright and, yeah. and energized atmosphere. Yes. You know, it's not like uh, when you go into a lot of these offices, it's kind of like, it's almost a downer when you're sitting there. You know, it's almost it's, sterile. Right. It's kind of like, you know, okay, you know, you're here, everybody's sick and, and, you know, you're just going on. But, you know, here I like the, you know, the, the feel of the energy you have here, uh, you know, just the, the excitement of, of the staff and, and, and people that are, that come through here have that, um, you know, that, that just that the feeling of, of well-being and, and, and improvement. And when you're getting those kind of results, you can't help but be in a good atmosphere. This is true. You know, and, and that, that's really what we want everybody to stress about what chiropractic care can do and what wellness associates specifically can do for you. Uh, and I think you'll realize that if you, if you pick up the phone, come, come down, schedule an appointment, and, and see for yourself how chiropractic care can impact that situation that you have right now. So with that, we hope you enjoyed this episode today and, and found it to be informative. Maybe you're dealing with it or know somebody that might be dealing with it. Be sure to give them uh, you know, the link to this video and, and to the webpage, uh, AskDrGoldberg.com. And uh, you'll really see some, uh, you know, some great information there and things that I think can have a major impact on your health. So with that, thank you very much for watching our show today and be sure to check back. We've got great topics coming up and we really look forward to assisting you in this goal of achieving optimal health. Have a great day.